Welcome back to another WordPress tutorial. In this screencast, we're going to cover how to add a user account. So why would you need to add a user account? Well, say you have a blog and you want to give someone blog access to become a guest blogger on your blog, um, but you don't want them to access uh, certain areas of your site. You can assign them a user account, give them a certain level of access. To say one of the one of the predefined options is an author account, and so they'll have uh, uh, the availability of this post section. They'll be able to post new blog posts, and uh, you know you can also set up in a way where they can they can create a post, but they can't publish it unless you give the thumbs up. Uh, as an administrator. We'll go into the, le uh, the uh, role definitions in just a second, but that's just one example. Another example would be if you have an assistant or someone that you want to maintain your site, you know, update page content, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, you can also assign them a user account, and of course, if you've got someone that, uh, you know, it, it, it falls off the face of the earth, you could del easily delete their account and uh, give someone else a new user ID and password, so that way your site stays uh, secure and, and uh, anything malicious uh, can be prevented. Uh, so anyways, let's go straight into how to create that user account. You'll go over here to the user section and hit add new. Once you go here, you're going to create a unique username. One big um, asterisk that I would like to say when creating these usernames, never use admin. Uh, I will say that admin is a very heavily targeted username uh, for WordPress hacks. So uh, I would steer clear of that uh, because that's oftentimes what hackers will try to expose when they're trying to infiltrate your site. So use something uh, unique. Uh, it could be an email address, by the way. Um, so if you want to do that, and then uh, you can, of course, you also be required to put your email address. Um, but yeah, just make it something unique. Uh, if depending on your security uh, settings inside your WordPress site, you might be required to enter a first and last name. Uh, but you can bypass that if you don't have anything in place. I'd highly recommend you have some sort of security set uh, as WordPress hacks are on the rise these days. Uh, password, of course, you gotta, you know meet the threshold in uh, you know that uh, pass of the bar in this indicator uh it tells you uh the rules behind it i know these can get a little annoying but uh yeah once you hit the strong level it should l give you the green light to go ahead i'm just going to leave uh, you know leave this to whatever of course it's going to be a mismatch cuz i'm typing arbitrary uh numbers and character alphanumeric characters so uh the next, uh, the next option is to be able to send the password. So say you're setting up an account for somebody. Really cool feature in WordPress is you don't have to email them anything. The WordPress will take care of it for you. So you can have the password automatically sent after you've hit add new user to the, the, um, to the new uh, account holder, including their username of choice that you pick. And that sends directly to them. Now here's the roles uh, drop down menu. So you can assign them by default several levels. Now there's plugins and there's mem you know app uh, plugins or apps that do that allow you to expand the role palette, but for the time being you get 5 out of the box. Subscriber is basically just someone uh who is subscribing to blog comments or something they don't really have much power over anything they don't have access to the site you know if they were given a login they basically would be able to comment on blogs that's the gist of a subscriber a contributor is someone who can in essence post blog posts but they don't have the authority to uh, publish those posts meaning they can actually type in a post hit publish but it'll be in queue until you log in and you publish the post for them so they wouldn't be able to, and they can't delete or do anything else an author is someone who can do that who can take that next leap uh, forward and publish posts they can edit their own posts but they can't affect other people's posts so they, it's only their stuff they can publish it you've given them that next uh, level of authority to be able to freely post their stuff the editor is a step of, above them. They have control over all authors. They can publish, they can edit, they can delete anybody's blog posts uh, and pages for that matter. Uh, so yeah, by the way, author. when you go from 
contributor on on up and basically have page or post access uh, but if you notice uh, on any of these first four levels if you were to assign something a lot of these options go away so they won't have like uh, some of the plugin options they won't have access to the navigation or widgets or and so on and so forth and it's going to vary per site because of course certain plugins allow certain access so it's not going to always be the same but uh, yes yeah, I will say that this is given a subdued kind of level of access versus this the almighty administrator option so the administrator is what you think it is you've got full reins of control over everything so you can do whatever the heck you want from a wordpress admin standpoint and that covers the roles uh... this last piece is not something that's available in wordpress out of the box this is something that i customly built in so don't expect the profile photo to be in your um, in your install unless i developed it or maybe somebody as else to develop it, customize uh, actually builds this into the WordPress uh, framework, and then when you're done, you just head add an user. Again, if you hit you had that box checked, it will automatically send them an email with both their username and password and the URL where to log in. That's it for this uh, screencast. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you on the next one. Please like or comment this video. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, for more visit CatalystDesignServices.com.